You are now watching the 2023 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. Beautiful morning. They said it was gonna rain all day, but they changed their weather. So the steer's making some noise here. And I will show you why in a minute. That's disappointing. The calf was standing in the pasture this morning down here, so it is somewhere in here. You're doing a good job bringing it down. You guys wanna be friends? I'll go ahead and open up that gate. And that way it can go up into the pasture, venture around, find the calf, be friends, and then uh, hopefully catch the calf. So the calf is alive, it looked good this morning. Um, I wanted it to chill out for a while before I did any interaction. You're friendly. Where'd it go? This morning I was standing literally right here. So, this gate swings the other way though. Got some flies. You gonna go find it? Well, as loud as that steer is, that's a good thing. I'm sorry, neighbors, because it was loud all night, um, pretty much all night. But wandering around the perimeter, checking things out. Hopefully, that's our best bet that we're gonna draw that calf back in and be able to mellow that calf out. So I'm not sure where it was, what, well, where it went. Probably went back up in the corn when this gate was shut so that the steer got acclimated to the barnyard and didn't freak out in the middle of the night, stuff like that. So, But definitely brought the calf back out. So hopefully by the end of the day, calf will come out, meet its new friend. There it is. It's, it's right in the corn. It just stood up. I w see, you could never see that. Okay, I'm going to get out of here. That way uh, I don't mess up what we're trying to do right now. But it is standing in the corn about 20, 30 feet up. Steer's name's Buddy, so Buddy is doing a good job. We're going to let Buddy do his thing, hang out, relax. He's out of his rhythm, as everybody knows cows and steers they like the same thing all the time they like their friendships and when you take them out of their element they hoot and holler so i'm amazed the calf hasn't been as vocal as usually like when you take a calf off its mother or you win a calf it gets very vocal so pretty tough little guy up there 97 21 vt 2r prm we got it so. We're out with Bob, putting up some signs. Changing up stickers. Changing stickers, getting it done. Oh. As we've said previously, these four passes up are all channel. Got our seedway signs from before. And we'll be able to compare side by side everything we planted moving forward. So how many plots you got this year? Seven, eight, eight plots. Eight plots. What's that? One silage and eight grains. One silage? Who's got silage? The needles. That's what I was figuring. Tony said it looks the best up there. He goes, come up and see. It looks the best. I was in there the other day. I guess, I guess we'll have to go see Lucas and Tony and yeah, go see, see how it is. Well, he's got all the stickers, all the signs. Looking good. Well, Baylor's ready to go. She stopped down here. And hung uh, out for a little while. And we'll probably we'll either be mowing by tonight or tomorrow tomorrow morning. So one mower is going right now. 
kind of waiting to see after five o'clock what the weather is. I'd rather not have it rain just a little bit on stuff. Well, one mower is going now and either we'll mow with one or mow with two and get all my stuff done and it can dry tomorrow. Tomorrow being Saturday, Sunday, probably bail on Monday. So, and uh, we'll do some trucking in between for silage because everybody's gonna be rocking and rolling ready to go. So Aaron's father just dropped all that. And I think he went up the road a little bit here. Grocery getter. Went to a uh, tractor supply too and we're loaded up with food and supplies that we need and we'll head back it did rain as i was sitting here rain was coming through and it went south so now i think we're good we're good till monday probably monday afternoon if not tuesday so very excited pulling back in and it's looking pretty dark uh, please don't rain look where's buddy not making any noise he's right there and the calf is next to him so they're together right right there okay that's really good that's good that they're hanging out calf looks good it's wagging its tail swing swinging its tail dogs wag their tails cows swing weather has gone that way hopefully it's not raining hopefully it's a distance away that way um, and we got beautiful skies that is awesome so i did pick up some grain some pellets i'm going to put that out um hopefully the calf will come in and start eating pellets and then we'll be able to get it the calf looks big for getting his mother taken away and not being weaned off yet i'm amazed that it's as healthy as it it seems um but now we got the buddy system very happy so i had this water filled up last night Buddy drank a little bit. Beef cows do not drink nearly as much as dairy. Um, but then again, they're not making a fluid product out of them like a dairy cow is. So that was my temporary fix. I know somebody already <laughs> complained in the comments that they didn't have enough water, that I was an idiot. But clearly I'm doing better than you, bud. So got some grain, gonna put it here. The end goal is, Buddy was in here hanging out earlier. So the end goal is to, Get them in here and be able to catch them both and then uh kind of domesticate that calf to the point where it can go out and not run through fences and be chill i don't know if i'm pushing my luck but i'm going to shut them in they came down to the bottom pasture i did put grain in there um i'll close the gate and there's enough feed in here that they can that buddy can eat and be good and i'll keep giving them grain making them chill out do not do that he's probably freaked out hopefully it learns i don't think it's a big fan of humans right now let it chill but it's locked it doesn't mean it's going to keep that calf in but i'd rather have them in four wire hot and uh hopefully hold it in but if it's chilling with buddy i think we'll be in a good spot so we are big square balling in the next few days that's what i went to town for and stuff like that honestly i'm just supplying help i'll truck my own bales i'll move my own bales and i'll supply help any way i can we don't have any bale spears let's get the 2755 out and figure that out Plus, Wesley, you went through and very remote all up through, he said, up and around. Things look good. I appreciate it. Um, he was out rotary mowing some other stuff, and he did do in front of the plots, which, uh, yeah, they're looking good. You did a good job, bud. I appreciate it. Okay, we might not be working with the 27 because Isaiah is on his way to uh, get the mower going, and maybe we'll mow some for ourselves. We'll see. But here we are. Wesley, you did an awesome job. I got a weed whack around the signs. Like I said, when you get closer, usually you take the first few rows off so everything's consistent across. But now it looks sharp and very excited. Here comes Yanko up the road. He heard me when I was on the phone. He was sitting over there. 
and he decided to venture on. Otherwise, he was going to hang out over there by himself. So, appreciate it. I need a rotary mower, and people send me rotary mowers. It's, uh, you just need the funds to do it. So, this is my first year farming, and I'm, I am trying to make a go at it. And, uh, yeah, things are expensive, if you don't know. It looks good. Looks very, very good, so. I'm excited to have a clean place, tidied up some. Um, we've got a long way to go before we get all the way there, but by day by day, we do get some projects done and it's looking good. So it'll be nice when all this second cutting around here is actually taken off and then we'll focus on our next projects and so on and so on, because corn's doing corn. Um, but never ends. Isaiah is going to go drop some hay for me. So, 7140 on the double rake. The other mower's back. He's been mowing. What time is it now? It's almost 7. 7.30. He mowed pretty much all afternoon. So, got quite a bit of uh, grass down. I want to show him where he's got to go with some of the property. We're going to check it out. How are you doing? The thing with these older self-propelled. They're slow down the road. They're great, they're great mowers. But if you're doing a lot of road running, they're really slow down the road, like 14 miles an hour. I used to run a 4990, and they said it's the same thing with these, that if you swerve a little bit, the steering is so sensitive that you'll go off the road, stuff like that. Same with in the field, if you like look over and you look back, you'll be off course, zigzags, stuff like that. The newer ones, they've changed quite a bit, and like macked on for going down the road, um, the seat swivels around and they drive backwards. Um, so backwards is actually forwards for road travel. But we're moving. Just got a mile, mile, two miles. And then uh, we'll uh, be, where to where, be where we need to be. Hot damn, this corn's looking good up here. Pretty consistent. I was worried I might have to put some nitrogen on this, but... It's going along for being planted so late. This will be silage corn for sure. Um, just because I want to put it back into grass, there's no point in having uh, three acres of grass over here, or three acres of corn over here when uh, I'd like everything all together. I gotta figure out how we're getting into here. We are dropping some first cutting right now. We are over here on some rented ground. The farm is, silos are right there. And it is, it's heavy. The quality is not there. We're gonna work on that over the next few years, but as you see, we got a little bit of clover, a lot of Timothy, heavy, heavy tonnage. And Isaiah's out here hammering it out. He'll probably have this section done in probably the next 30 minutes. So this stuff will probably be ha have to be tetted tomorrow morning or so. Just so we get it to start drying down. But as you see... This is late first. Well, one, a lot of people that have been trying to bail anything. So there you go. Some clover. Nothing too crazy. Um, people trying to bail hay. We haven't had the weather. It was dry and nothing, nothing grew. And then it hasn't stopped raining. So the next three days, there's going to be a lot. And as you see, because of how heavy it was, the ground's pretty wet still. Um, so things will dry out. So we got this little section over there, some clover, and the corn actually looks absolutely awesome there. So pretty excited about that. But, and then from here, we'll jump over and we'll do second cutting baleage, or second cutting baled dry hay on my property. So he's got it all mowed down. There is quite a bit of weeds in it. So I'm probably gonna keep all this feed for myself. Um, once I have some beef cows, 
we'll feed it out. But if we wander over here, you can see them out there in the distance. I ran to town. Well, Sharon got some pizza, some drinks. This is pure clover. It's a little further past than you'd like it to be, but it is a seeding and it's looking good. So very little bit of thistle, but overall pure clover. He's running through it. He says down over the hill is a little, we've had enough moisture that the ground is pretty soft in a lot of spots. Um, but this stuff should, we're gonna have to ted this pretty aggressively because of how much leaf matter is on there. Like this stuff should work out pretty good. So the plan over here for all of this ground is get it back to a really, really good um, grass crop, grass fescue, clover, alfalfa, and then go from there. But I don't know if you guys even see how much is in the rows. This clover is pretty aggressive. Um, and then it goes down over the bank and goes back to the other side. So he's probably got another 40 minutes after this still to go. He's moving right along. We gotta get some LED lights on there, bud. I know it's not your machine, but we need some LEDs. Give you give you some good views. Maybe we'll just O light hooking it up, keeping us lit. Otherwise, you guys would be like this. So I don't know which one you guys like better, but either way, O light's been a great partner of the channel. I'm excited to see this stuff bailed up. Um, that other stuff, it is what it is. I knew it was going to be later. I knew the quality wasn't going to be there. And my expectations were low. I'm hoping some of the stuff over the hill here is actually a little bit better. But, yeah. This stuff, you can make some feed on, make some milk on that. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to go to beef, horse, or dairy. We got to see how it works out in the next few days. I got some, I got a few options. overhead then it actually reseeds itself um, the big thing is you don't let clover head out because you want to harvest it at the best value so usually you don't reseed it like that way you reseed it by plowing it under and going from there um, but if you let it head out because clovers red clover let me think red clover it's only three years you get really off of it um, after that it starts dying out so well i'll let him keep going and i'm gonna hang out he'll do it down over the hill we do have one one round bale to pick up over the hill that's been sitting there rotting but other than that we gotta come back ted all this go from there but yeah this stuff's looking pretty good little past nothing too crazy but for the year we've had, and for my first year of farming, we're doing okay. So, very grateful for the good people around me to make this happen. At some point, I will own some hay equipment, but in the meantime, it doesn't make any sense for me to own mower, rake, tether, mer or merger. Like, as they know, Christian mows a lot of their hay and we'll get Christian at some point on the channel and you gotta supply a man and you gotta run that mower pretty aggressively to make it worth it we got one farm done so quite a bit of feed there that will all probably all stay with me maybe some of that clover we'll see how the quality is but um, 
reselling it, I don't feel as comfortable because of it being later. The other stuff is probably all going to be sold pretty quickly. Um, some good second that came in pretty hot and heavy. Looks really good. And I'm excited for it. So we'll see you in the morning. But we'll get back to the farm and call it good.